Hi, everybody. How are you? It is Deanna with toolsofenergyprotection.com, your everybody. energy How shift advisor and Akashic Records expert. How is everybody doing? Big hugs and kisses. Thumbs up. Let me know you're out there. You know I love each and every one of you, but it's always easier for me when I can see ya. You know I can feel ya. <laughs> oh, welcome, everybody. It is... September 28, 2021. Can you believe it already? Uh, it's just astounding how fast time is going. So tonight, I'm going to share with you something that's been uh, on my heart, on my mind. And I'm also going to share with you what's happening on this planet. So if you like the video, and you know people that are highly sensitive, star seeds, empaths, or people just generally having trouble uh being on this time and space please share the video and be sure to click like on the bottom of the page if you're on youtube it'll give you a notification every time i post a video and if you're on facebook it'll let you know when i'm going live <laughs> so how's everybody doing tonight i have got a couple different monitors on and tonight is a really super big subject and i'm going to do the best i can to condense it down into just a little bit uh, as you know, this world is changing, it's evolving, we're in the age of Aquarius, we are traveling through time. The last time we spoke last Tuesday, I told you that we had three, I think it was three timelines that we were on, and now we're back to two. And so you're feeling the, the energy right now, you're feeling the shift of the collective consciousness of every man, woman, and child on this planet feeding into the collective consciousness and that's the energy that is shaped and formed by all the thought whether it's fear hate anxiety depression or love joy happiness love of life love of god and all those things feed into the collective consciousness that then begins to create a trajectory that we are on as an entire planet, as a galaxy, and as a universe. And so that's what we will then experience. So tonight, I'm going to share with you a little bit more detailed information about what's going on on this planet, um, because it, it's so huge. And I do look on uh, the internet, and I attempt to find other people that are talking about these things, and um, if you find somebody, just let me know, because I'd be interested to see who's talking about these things, because I know I'm not the only one. But tonight, I want you to know that there are seven planets in retrograde. What does that mean? All right, well, if you're here on YouTube, if you'll go uh, back to my last video, just click up here on my channel, go back to the last video, it tells you, uh, I think it's six planets in retrograde, we've added another. And it tells you what each planet is going to do to the bioelectromagnetic energy, that's the energy that your body is involved in that helps shape your attitude, your thoughts, your mind, your emotions, sometimes physical things, so that we don't have to review that. But in brief, remember that your body is salt, water, and electric. The ocean, the ocean is salt, water, and electric. And so when you get the moon that moves the tide back and forth, think of all the planets moving our bodies. And as it does, it helps our human mind to process things in a way that God's spirit or source intended, that the creator intended, so that we could evolve as spirit beings in physical bodies, and we could return to the other side, having learned. That's what this place is. Welcome to Earth School. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to say hi to a few people. Uh, then I'm going to talk about Schumann's, which is what I started the video with, so you know what's happening and why it's happening. And then I'm going to talk to you about an opportunity that is breathtaking. And if you are awake, aware, and alert, and you know there's more than a nine to five gig every day, and just getting up and going to bed and you know doing whatever in between those times, and you're you're fully aware that there's more things playing out here than just that kind of reality then you will uh, desire to learn more about this. So just a moment, but I'd like to take a moment to welcome my guests. I always love each and every one of you. So I'd like to say hello to Cherie, hello to Angie, 
Hello to Ron. Good to see you, Ron. Uh, hello, Wendy. Hi, Paul. Good to see you, Becky. Glad you're on board. Um, and it looks like uh, that's it for right now. So anyway, seven planets in retrograde. So what does that mean? Little review from last week. When you have planets in a different placement around the Earth, the Earth has what is called the heartbeat of the Earth or a bioelectromagnetic energy. This is science, people. And there's a place in Russia that takes all the information about what the ionosphere is doing and other parts um, that are inside um, of, of our sphere, I guess. You know, we got the Earth and then, you know, you've got gravity and there is an invisible sphere or graph around there that holds the gravity in and, you know, a bunch of other things. But what happens is, is that when these planets shift, and again, this is science, it shifts the ionosphere, it shifts the electromagnetism on the planet, okay? It just shifts it. There's a lot more behind that, but it takes years of study. <laughs> so, so let's just leave it at that. And what happens is, again, I'm gonna to refer to this, if you study the moon and the cycle of the moon and you go out to the ocean, it's beautiful, and you watch the tide, pull back. So like maybe at 12 noon, the tide was reaching here on the beach. And then, it, you know, uh, this is like 12 noon. And then at midnight, maybe it's only here. Well, why did that happen? Is it because the earth wobbled over and the water kind of went sloshed to the other side? No, it's because of the magnetism and, and the, the magnetism, the bioelectric pulling, you know, through the use of the planets. Well, now you got seven planets, okay? And they're in retrograde. What does retrograde mean? Does it mean that they're slowing down, that you know, somebody driving the planet put on the brake? <laughs> no. What it means is that from our viewpoint on the Earth, looking out at them, it seems like they're going backwards, but they're really not. But from our perspective, when we see that, then that shifts the frequency, it shifts the magnetism. And then things begin to shape differently on the planet. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to talk about, oops, here we go. We're gonna talk about the, oops, the heartbeat of the earth. Just a moment, so I can get it back again. Okay, just a second here, I'm gonna to have to, Get this back up here again. All right, we're going to share the screen now. You get to see me in a little tiny box on the side. All right. Okay, there we go. So this is what's called Schumann's frequency. Schumann's resonant frequency, resonances, you know, vibrations. And what you're looking at is the measurement of the bioelectromagnetism of the planet. Now, when you look right here, I am in Colorado. It is 625 Mountain Standard Time. And I just ran this before we came on. And what you're going to notice is this big green blob, kind of looks like Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> we normally don't have that. Normally, the energy is just before it is what it looks like. You have a little bit of green here, you know, and you have different spots down here. Um, and, and this area is usually not that stimulated. So if you, if you look with me here, now, what would have been midnight? So if you had trouble going to sleep at 11 o'clock or midnight or woke up, this is why. Because there's a lot of stimulation going on, but it's going on at a low frequency. So it's like little tiny waves like this, as opposed to like this, okay? And what that is, is that 
plays on the human psyche. That stimulates the mind. I've been attempting to study that a little bit more with a, with a, a physician because I've been asking him to look into it, but you know, getting together and all that. So here we're looking at approximately 12 noon when these energies began to stimulate, again, Mountain Standard Time in the U United States. And when you are seeing these frequencies way up here low like that, notice over here on the very far left hand side, you don't have too much of that. If you go back and look at other Schumann's charts from you know, last week, you won't see it. But when this area stimulates, this is spiritual energy. This is energy that's being put available on this planet for people who are spiritually awake, alert and aware, no matter what ism or what religion they belong to, this is spiritual nourishment, big time. It is the first time in about two years that I've ever seen it up this high. Normally it's not, normally you don't see it at all and you can see it fluctuate over here. But this is, you're looking at like seven hours of a frequency that is stimulating your ability to connect with the divine. It is an open line. It is an open line of communication. If you're resonating with that, if you feel like God's spirit or source has been talking to you more often than not lately, if you uh, feel like your angels or guides are talking to you, give me a thumbs up because what I'm doing here is I'm discussing metaphysics. Metaphysics is a discussion about being and living and evolving with things people can't necessarily see, but they're experiencing. So I am a metaphysician and a spiritual person. And so my focus of study is spirituality, connection with the divine. How does it shape us? And so here we are on September 28th, 2021. And we have so much divine love being poured into this planet at this time as we are experiencing a freaky deaky world where things are going crazy. You know, we had this thing called COVID. The whole entire world shut down. People were locked up in their homes for a long time. Year came, we finally were released somewhat of that. Now it's back and forth, back and forth. And all these different shots and all these different variants. And people don't know what to do. Some people around the world are carrying on as normal. Other people are still locked down. It's craziness. So the human mind is somewhat confused. Some people are blocking it out. Some people it's, you know, business as usual. But if you will look again one more time right here with me. This energy, when it looks like this on Schumann's, is the divine creator source of all stimulating, if you will, the planets. The planets were put in place to unfold at this time. Amazing how that works. The divine plan, it's, it's perfect. And so this amount of energy is being given freely to every man, woman, and child that draws a breath on this planet so that you can, you can be spiritually nourished so that you can connect with the divine creator source of all. And I have been tasked or missioned, if you will, with this. And it is my pleasure, my joy, makes my heart sing. This is what I do to let you all know that in the darkest or what seems like one of the darkest hours in this world, this is when the most amount of light is being made available to you. So if you are on this broadcast or watching the replay and you know people that are just, you know, face, what is it? Uh, face calming it, as my daughter calls it. And they feel awful and they don't know what's going to happen next. And they're scared and they're watching the news. And uh, there's an organization, I don't want to say the name of it, that's thinking it's going to change how it's supporting the economy in America. And then we're in for a big crash. 
these are scary times. This is, you know, when my, if you will, my followership goes up because <laughs> people want to know. So I'm going to share with you some information that will help you for those of you that are with me for those of you that i am here on this planet to serve by contract with the boss this one up here called me and he said deanna get on it <laughs> i said yes okay and i've been doing it ever since so I talk to angels, I talk to guides, I talk to God. Do I hear them back? Sometimes not, sometimes yes. So I want you to know that when I first became spiritually awake, I thought that somehow if I just prayed, read the Bible, and asked for what I wanted, tried to be a good person, that that's all it took to be a spiritually awakened person. This was back in 1998. And so I did just that. I prayed, I fasted, I talked out loud to God. Sometimes I prayed, asked for things, gave thanks. And you know, expected lots of things to happen. And they didn't. And I would read the Bible and I would look at different people in the Bible and what happened to them and the stories. And I'd be like, this is great. What, what's up for me? So I began to take my focus of study from the Bible out into a greater focus. And after college, a greater focus. I took a few years off, had to work a little <laughs> in the nine to five gig. But I'm studying metaphysics. I never thought I would study metaphysics. Don't ask me to write out the um, numerical things. I can't do that, but I can talk theory because a lot of this is not theory. It is science. And it is science relating to the spiritual and the spiritual relating to the science. And so the more I learned about the Bible as it is presented to us in the canonized version, and the more that I learned about metaphysics, and the more I learned about the planets and the ionosphere and our human body and the physiology, the more I realized that God's divine plan included everything. Now you might say, hey, Deanna, that's pretty silly. You know, we all knew that. Well, think about it. In a given day, do you really think about how everything fits together? Do you think about how things are brought to you in such a way that you may not even recognize them, but your prayers are answered? What you're aligned with is brought to you. Knock and the door is open. Ask and it is given. But how many of you are truly aware awake, alert in receiving what is given to you, moving in the direction that you are to go instead of being in fear. So the more I learned, the more I had aha moments, and the more I knew that I didn't know. <laughs> so I began to put different things together began helping folks, COVID came along and my heart said, open the Spiritual Awakening Academy, help as many people as you can. And so I did. Last year, about this time, we did round two. And what I am doing within the academy is I trained spiritually awakened people, spiritually alert people, I trained them with a proven process. The second time around, first time it was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Second time I knew exactly what to do. And I trained them with an authentic 
caring, powerful process. And we took them from people who were awake, alert, aware that they didn't know what to do. They're like, should I take Reiki? Should I take EFT? Should I do massage? Should I do this? Because they knew they wanted to serve so badly, but they didn't know how. Of course, you couldn't do massage during COVID, but you know that they're beautifully awake people, but they feel undulated inside. They're like, what do I do? You know, it's like somebody that's all pumped up with adrenaline in a fight or flight situation, and they don't know what to do. But if you point them in the right direction, they can climb a mountain. So in this proven process, in this training that I am providing, I have brought in a, a process to get you from not understanding anything about how all this fits together to a step by step by step process to open your mind, open your heart and truly connect you to the divine. So you're not starving anymore. And I just showed you on Schumann's, that energy is so readily available right now. It's amazing. Why not take advantage of it? If you've been sitting on that back burner going, I don't know, I don't know. You know, the Spiritual Awakening Academy, when I teach it, I teach it from my background, which is Jewish Christian. And I'm going to show you how to understand what your angels are saying to you. I'm going to put that out there. And there's some other things, just a moment, I'll talk about them, but Bottom line is I'd like for you to embrace your beautiful divine gifts now. Strike while the iron is hot. It is a prime time to do it. It is prime time to do it because we're getting all this in and assimilate it, make it workable, you know, proven process, something you can repeat day after day after day so that when the world at large starts shaking up and things aren't looking good, you have a place to be. You have a way to connect. You have a way to be guided. And if you can do that on your own, go for it. Give me a call. Share your process. Maybe I might learn something. But I created the Spiritual Awakening Academy, and I've been teaching it to highly sensitive people, empaths, and starseeds just like you. And just yesterday, actually two days ago, I met a man in an unexpected place, Christian man, and he was talking to me about post-traumatic stress disorder and how much that had affected his life. And I said, you know, through the power of God's spirit or source, we can shift your bioelectromagnetic frequency, we can shift your cells so that the memory of your cells isn't there so much and your brain can shift and you can heal. He was astounded. And then he said, oh yeah, by the way, I hear this high pitch ringing in my ears. And I told him about the ringing and what it meant. And he was just beside himself because he wasn't aware that this kind of teaching was available. So if you have the heart to share this, please do share the video. Somebody out there may be thanking you because they're looking and seeking the answer and they can't find it. And you might be that agent, God, spirit, or source. Maybe their guardian angels or guides are using. All right. So I'm going to be teaching this Awakening Academy. And I'm going to be starting it here in a few months. Or not a month, sorry, weeks. Duh. <laughs> erase, erase. Uh, a few uh, weeks. And so as I was putting it together, like I talked about last week and I promised everybody I would do and I was putting it in segments and how is it easiest to teach you and support you and in this process, it dawned on me that there's a lot of you out there with questions about things that are taught in the academy, but you're not ready to take that big jump and become fully, you know, how would you say it? Fully educated um, to have the clarity, the, the comprehension and the training, boom, you know, and you're, and you're ready to go. Some of you just aren't ready for that yet. You wanna wade in a little bit by little bit by little bit. 
I totally get it. I'm one of those people too. I'm like, hmm, prove it to me. <laughs> so I had a staff meeting and talked to the boss and my guides. And I said, what, you know, how's it best to serve everybody during these times where the spiritual energy is so available? And it's not just tonight on the Schumanns, it's gonna be coming for a while. That's the seven planets in retrograde. It's opening up hearts, it's opening up minds. It, it, it's a call basically, you know, in the Bible it talks about the angels, you know, uh, trumpeting the horn. Um, and it's, I don't know if that's exactly right, but this is a space for you to open up if you're unsure. So, I'm going to give you a little snippet, just a little tiny taste of what the Academy entails. So on day one, I am going to talk to you about what is an empath, what's a highly sensitive person and what's a star seed and how do you know if you are one? How, you know, can you get your mindset to change where you can connect freely to God's spirit or source like I do? You know, sometimes on the videos, you see me talking to my guides. How can you recognize what the angels are already showing you or telling you? Some of you tell me, I can't hear the angels like you do. They don't talk to me like another person. Well, they may be shifting you. They may be opening doors up for you. They may be putting things in your path and you're just da 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 and you're not paying any attention. So I'm going to help you to not only, are you an empath? Are you a highly sensitive person? Are you a star seed? Are you like me? Got all of them. And then how do you work with that? what are your first steps into feeling more comfortable with that because at the same time you also have to deal with the 3d reality you still got to go to work you still got to pay the bills you still have to you know invest whatever you're doing so you're living in your incarnate world in the environment you find yourself in whether you know like say hi to great britain have a couple of folks over there watching and hi to india have a whole bunch of people over there watching <laughs> But whatever your 3D world looks like, how do you function in that if you are spiritually awake, alert, aware, and God's spirit or source is calling you to be a light in this world, to be salt in this world? That's what I'm going to be addressing. So day two, I'm going to talk about how to shield yourself, okay? A lot of people um, don't know how to shield their personal energy. And I'm gonna tell you, with, with if you were just to turn on the television uh, and watch the nightly news, I don't recommend it, but if you did it, my daughter and I did it last night and it was headline after headline after headline of depressing news. Yeah, it's happening in the world, you know, but nothing in there good, nothing uplifting. Then, you know, I scroll through my phone, I look at the headlines and yes, real things are happening out there. Real tragedies are happening. People are being hurt. Some people are trying to recover from the natural disaster. Some people are displaced in evacuation. All that stuff is real. And we have to work through it or not. But as a starseed, an empath, or a highly sensitive person, it is now when you awaken, there's a whole level to, if you will, this game, third school. And I had a lady last week and she said, Deanna, I would just love to meet other people like me because my family and my friends think I'm nuts and they don't accept me. And I just wanted to cry because I know how she feels. And when I first started on this road, I called my dad. <laughs> and I said, dad, sit down, I got something to tell you. So he did. And I said, dad, I see things other people don't. And I hear things other people don't. 
And I know when things are gonna happen before they happen. And I know I'm not nuts, but I wanted to let you know. And he was so accepting and he said, well, your grandmother and your great grandmother were both healers. So, you know, this is normal in our family. <laughs> I'm like, great, can you tell me sooner? <laughs> but I was accepted. And my friends, when at that time, all thought I was a lunatic <laughs> and that I needed to get a little white coat, you know, the kind that you have to sew up the back or stitch up the back, you know, that <laughs> puts your sleeves like this, keeps y'all cozy. And I went to a psychologist and I got tested just to be sure <laughs> that I wasn't nuts. And I wasn't. And I had a whole different ball game to play <laughs> because I could see things. I saw a man one time, he was angry and I saw a red aura around him. You know, I've seen spirit standing at the foot of my bed that were not translucent. I thought somebody broke into my home. <laughs> and I've battled with demons that I can't see that are real, not in the mind. It's a whole different world. It's a whole different level. And then at that time I was working a regular gig, not this one, but I still had to go to work do the dishes, do the laundry, pay the bills, file the taxes. It's a lot. So if you're dealing with that and you're just starting out, big hugs to you. And I know that if you read enough books and watch enough videos that you will get there eventually, I know that. But I'm going to offer you an opportunity to accelerate your experience so that you don't feel nuts. You know where to land. There's a safe place. And there's a community of other people that are like-minded that you can share your experiences with, if you wish. <laughs> you don't have to. So that's going to be day two that I'm going to be talking about that and how to shield up because there are people that are watching tonight that have told me they're so tired of the negativity in their line of work. A lot of times they work in um, uh, the medical field and there's just so much negativity. Some of them work in political offices. And as an empath or highly sensitive person, you tend to feel that and it comes into the very fabric of who you are and if you think about, um, you ever been around a campfire at night, you know, and you're camping and then you get in your tent and you realize you smell like the campfire. <laughs> well, that's how it is for empaths and highly sensitive people. We're absorbing not the campfire smell, but the negative energy because that's part of why we came here. That's part of our job. Now it's not our job to be a sponge and absorb all that negative energy. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's our job to recognize it and be able to offer people healing energy if they want it and shift their frequency. Give them the chance to be more in the light. Give them the chance to have a more loving existence as much as we can and joy. But if you are in the mire, in the mud, so to speak, and you're not getting out of there, you can't do anybody any good because you're stuck in depression, anxiety, phobias. Maybe you're in the same repeat pattern in your life over and over. And you're like, what the hell? I can't get out of this. Two reasons. One, the human brain likes consistency and it lives in a habit form. That's just how the human brain is. Two, there's something called the Akashic Records. Akashic records are in the Bible, the canonized version in the Revelation that says every man will be judged by the book of life. 
the book of life is everything you thought, did, said, felt, experienced in earth school in a book. So that when you die, you can go back and look at what you did and go, oh, I messed up here. I did good there. Okay, you know, this is what I learned. And make, so it makes sense to you. So you get something out of your education here on earth. Judgment is a titchy word. I know some Christians would say it's blasphemy if I told them that the judgment didn't mean that the person was going to go to hell. Because that's simply not true. Ooh, I can hear some people out there. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> go prove it to yourself if you don't believe me. The judgment is not something that this great almighty, you know, being, you know, behind the, I guess the curtain, you know, and like the Wizard of Oz is, is, is saying that you didn't do this, you didn't do this, therefore you're going to, to hell, you're going to burn for eternity. That's baloney. That's a control device created by people that weren't loving. So what's going to happen is, when you get to the end of your life and your physical body can no longer support life, you go back, you look at the record, you make some choices and you move on from there. The judgment is what you hold on yourself. And if you've done a lot of really bad things, a lot of dark things, you know, you won't accelerate to the next dimension, which is what we would call heaven. You'll either repeat and that some souls are so low vibrational and so dark that they're in something that would be considered like hell, but there's no torment. It's just that you're further away from the creator source of all. It's colder there, darker there, and you got to work your way out. But I digress. So the Akashic records can reveal to you why you might be caught in the cycle. Again, the human brain likes patterns. It likes behavior. It does the same thing over and over again. That's why it's hard to change behaviors or, or habits. Unless you get in a good habit. Then you don't want to change it. Uh, and over here, you've got the Akashic Records, the Book of Life. Now, let's say you've lived 87 lifetimes. And in each lifetime, you did the same thing you're doing in this life. Well, now, because of all these beautiful energies, these beautiful divine energies that are open and available, they have been for a long time, they're just easier to access now. You can access those records, find out how they're playing out in your life now, and resolve that issue quicker and move on. It's magic. Actually, pretty wonderful. So if you can think of any problems you're doing over and over again, and you get some insight into the Akashic Records and why it's worth working with them, not just reading them. You can help yourself avoid endless cycles. That's a good thing. That's actually what I'm talking about on day four, the Akashic Records. So day three, I'm going to talk about the high pitch whine, the frequency, the ringing in the ears. So quite a few of you have been reaching out to me. I did the first um, uh, class, the inaugural class of the high pitch wine frequency training. We only have two more, so I closed the door on that class. You won't find it open right now to register for. I do promise to get up on that page and put up there a wait list. I'm thinking to do that class again, starting um, uh, probably the early part of November. So you all can catch up on that because uh, the, the ringing in their high, high pitch wine or downloads there it's information like you wouldn't believe that can help you live your everyday life it's like being tuned in you know uh, to the, the hive the beehive the collective and knowing exactly what to do and when so we're working with that in our class any so um <laughs> I'm trying to think about what to talk about now. <laughs> now I've got some things to share with you. So if you'll hold on one moment. Uh, is everybody having a good day out there? If you can give me some thumbs up and give me some love, let me know how everybody's doing out there. Oh, I truly appreciate it. Uh, so it's nice to know that you all are out there, even though I can feel you with my spidey senses and I can see you. It is always nice to know that you're out there. Oh, good. Thumbs up. Yes, thank you. Yeah, some hearts. Woohoo! We're rocking it tonight. <laughs> All right. So, 
I'm going to share the screen once again, because this is super duper 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 important. Oops, there you go. All right. So the Spiritual Awakening Academy is going to be running the big one, the big enchilada is going to be running for six months because people tell me they wanted more community, they wanted more support, they wanted to have more time to practice reading the Akashic Records. Again, I realize a lot of you are not sure if you want to jump right into that or you just would like to have some more information about what it's like to be an awakened spiritual person. So what I have done for all of you is I have created a Spiritual Awakening Academy live video mini course, mini course. This course will last for four days. It's just a little taste of what we're going to be doing. So if you go to toolsofenergyprotection.com and go to the top bar, it's going to say Spiritual Awakening Academy mini course. And if you click on that, you're going to see this page that I'm showing you right now. And it covers everything that I'm going to talk about. If I talk about it uh, on my site, you will see it. So day one, we're going to talk about what is an empath, a highly sensitive person, a star seed. Day two, we're going to talk about clearing and shielding your personal energy and how to take control of that, especially in these times. Wouldn't you like to come home not exhausted after being with people all day? Uh, day three, we're going to learn how to anchor and understand the high pitch frequency mystery unveiled. And day four, we're going to tap into your Akashic records and help you take control of your life, help you to understand, you know, what is going on with that. So. Again, that's going to be October the 9th, starting at 9 a.m. Each session, I uh, didn't put that on here, each session will run about an hour. It's, it's very short. It's a mini course. And so if you are ready to do that, uh, you're ready to, to, to take that step forward, get a little bit more information, make sure you're not nuts. And you'd like to learn from somebody who has been there, done that struggled with it, learned from it, accelerated from it, then I'm asking you to give yourself this opportunity. Give yourself this opportunity. So normally it costs upwards of a hundred bucks to spend an hour with me to do a session. This is going to be four days. So you figure 400 bucks, right? No. My heart is moved so much to share this information with you. I almost did it for free, but, you know, I thought, wow, I, I want to give so much more than just a little talk, a one day free talk like these, you know, like the lives. The desired outcome is to give you some information that'll give you some traction. When you come to the Spiritual Awakening Academy live video mini course, you will take away actionable tools, real information, things you can integrate into your everyday life. Right then, you don't have to wait. This is not gonna be a course that you're gonna take and make a big notebook and stick it up on the shelf and six months later, forget about it. This is stuff for right now. This is tools because you are in these trenches. This is a fight for your very soul. That's what's going on right now. Because the physical body is here for a little bit. You came from the dust, you returned to the dust. No brainer. Okay? came from the dust, you will return to the dust. Can I get an amen? <laughs> you know that I'm telling you the truth, okay? So the Spiritual Awakening Academy live mini course, we are going 
to talk about empaths, highly sensitive people and the like. You've been asking me for a while, what does that mean? And you know, I could do videos on what each one of these means, but I'd like to go in a little bit deeper with you so you can check off the list and go, oh yeah, this is me. And then know what to do with it. You know, not to be rude, but you know, my humble opinion, big, big deal if you know you're an empath, big deal if you know you're a highly sensitive person, but what the schmeg do you do with that information? You run and hide? You stand up victorious and you're like, oh yeah, I'm an empath. I'm a highly sensitive person. I'm a starseed. I know what to do. I know what my mission is in life. How would you like to get up every morning and know that you had a mission on this planet right now? Instead of dragging yourself out of bed, being depressed and going, oh, I don't want to see people today because I don't want to absorb their energy. How would you like to learn how to take control of your energetic field, your personal energy field, with actionable steps you can do right away? How would you like to understand why this high-pitched line is driving you crazy? <laughs> it gets higher and, and less high. And then uh, understand more about the Akashic Records. I see a lot of people online that are Akashic Record readers. Big kisses and hugs to them. Takes a lot of energy to tap into that. But very few people do I see that actually clear the energy from those records. And yes, it's okay to clear it. I had somebody ask me yesterday, is that is it okay to clear the energy from the records? You know, isn't that blasphemy? No, if it if it God's spirit source didn't want us to have access to it and clear it, he wouldn't let us or she this is accessible to all of us we just know how so in this mini course we're going to talk about tapping into the records understanding more about why they're there and taking control of your life so i hope you will come and join me again the spiritual awakening academy the big enchilada I will be starting that uh, towards the end of October. That'll be a bigger class. But for those of you that just wanna get in, get your feet wet, get a taste, get some information, get your life back where you would like to have it, then I'm gonna ask you to come and join me on October 9th, 2021. You'll have to be registered before that because I will close the doors at a certain point. Um, and I only have so many people that I can take into my Zoom classroom I'm teaching on Zoom. There will be handouts, things to download, private classroom. And I plan on teaching for about an hour for each module. So that's easily $400. But because I am moved and my heart knows that you all need this, I would rather give it to as many people as I can. So you're going to find that I have pleasantly put the price at 36 bucks. It's just so I know I have your attention, okay? That's all. Invite a friend, pay for a friend's ticket if they're this way, but make sure they come, look at the website, understand what they're getting into. And then after that is done, I will put out the information for the full Awakening Academy, which will be six months. There will be teachings every week. We'll receive a Q&A at least twice a month and some live support. So that's what's happening. I appreciate you letting me be vulnerable. It is not easy in this business to be vulnerable. And if you go to toolsofenergyprotection.com, it'll be right at the top and you can click and get registered right now before I close the doors, before all the spaces fill up because my computer um, internet connection can only hold so many students in the classroom. <laughs> and yes, I will take questions and answers during that as well. So share the video. If you know somebody who might be going through similar things, you never know who might be out there that's hurting that hasn't said anything like the gentleman that I recently met who's like, oh, by the way, I have a high pitch line in my ears. You just never know. So 
I love you all. I thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today, please at the top of Facebook, just if you're on Facebook, click on my name. I'll take you over to my Facebook uh, business page and you can click on follow. And anytime I come on, it'll pop up and tell you when I'm on so you don't miss anything. Oh yes, I'm sorry. The mini course that I'm teaching, I will provide recording. So if you can't make it at 9 a.m. on October the 9th, because you already have plans, that's fine. Uh, I'll post the recordings for you after the class is done so that you can go and access them. If you're on YouTube and you have any comments, feel free to put them down here. I do check my uh, emails uh, at least once. Uh, my emails, my YouTube comments uh, at least once a week. I had a lovely comment from a woman on my last video if you want to go over and check that out. And I love and uh, each and every one of you during these times I send love and peace and joy out to each and every one of you my desired outcome is that you come to this little mini academy get some power get some strength take your power back and don't let this world beat you down because you are the star seeds you came here for a reason you have a mission to complete many are called few are chosen Many are called and few are chosen. The ones that are the chosen ones are the ones that take action. They hear the call and they take action. So if it's in your heart to take action, join me. If there's another person teaching something and you feel more at home with them, take the class. Get up off your butt and take the class. Because if you are not teachable and if you are not open to change, you will suffer. I don't mean to be mean about that, but you will suffer. I know that in my own life because I've had to take action with my physical body by going to the gym every morning. And I still got my COVID belly and it's not very fun, but if I don't change my diet, go get exercise and I just sit here and I think about, oh, I'm exercising, isn't this wonderful? then that will never go away, ever. It's physics. So again, God's spirit source has designed this universe for the planet to be going through one of its roughest historical moments. And the energy for you to access. Uh, my daughter has uh, straws, you know, and she pokes them in this little thing and they have kids drinks. <coughs> you know, well, Right now, these energies are like a bag of juice that are overflowing. And it doesn't take much to poke it. And you're going to receive everything you need from the divine, not me. But I'd rather you not have to go through the struggle of learning the hard way. There is a calling. It is calling you. Question is, are you going to take action? And again, if I'm not the right teacher for you, if I'm not the right fit, that's okay. Go find who is the right fit and get busy. Because now is the time. Once this beautiful energy is gone, there's going to be a rough fit again. I don't know, didn't ask the boss, but I'm assuming there's more energy coming. Because that's how a video game is, same as above as below. The little guy gets restored or gets more energy or the game's over and you got to play again. Right? Anyway, that's it for now. Big hugs, big kisses to everybody. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Subscribe, like, share. Let's get the word out there. Let's get a bunch of highly sensitive people, empaths, and star seeds. Let's get them ready to go and get them out there and taking the world by storm with all the love of life and the divinity that we have to offer and let your light shine. Good night.